M0FXB, welcome back to my videos on the UV5RH and we're learning so much about this radio. But today I'm going to show you how to add your own image. Now if I want to turn it on there, that is actually a Yesu FX1, the new model. So I'll, I'll put in the site, the size of the image you need to load is 160 by 128, there goes my dog, 160. 128 and it's a bitmap. So let me show you how to create that. So go to your file explore or your downloads, find the image you want to change. And so the one I wanted to change, let's say it's this one here, FX uh, FX 1000. Okay, if I just double click that, you'll see that it's it's the Yesu there. You see on it, right click it and then select open with. Move the seat. I want, I want you to see this. Right click, that's better. Open with, and then paint. And you get the classic paint window. So the first thing is let's let's get the right size. So we're going to go File, Image Properties, click it, and then here we're going to type in the correct size. And as I said, it's one sixty. 60 by 128 128 okay and then you click OK so we've got the right size but now we want to export it as a BMP so you go file save as so you go down it says save as then you get another list to so go across and then down BMP and you'll notice that it actually says 24 bit. That's quite important. BMP and then name it. So if we name it, I'm just going to give it a random name like John. OK, save it where you're going to find it. So I just go to downloads and then save. So now we can close with the we can minimize and go back to the software. Now the software, I, I managed to get it by emailing the seller. I've tried to upload the software, but it's saying it's got a virus and it stopped me from uploading it, which is quite annoying. But anyway, over to the software. Connect your programming cable in the normal way. I use the all-in-one that you can buy on Amazon. That's the, I think that's the best one to go for. I'll put a link in the description for that because then it will work on several radios. So you need to go to, let's find it, programmable. Um, boot, there it is there, tools. Then boot picture. And if you do this wrong, it will just, it won't even load the file. It will just close the whole program down. So you need to make sure that the boot picture you load is correct. So select your COM port, right click, device manager. And I've been doing, you know, programming some memory channels as well here. And there it is there, USB serial CH340 COM16 on mine. Select that, load the file that we call John. Remember, if, if it doesn't work, it won't even load it. And then I'm going to go to start. It'll just close the whole radio down. So you can see there, it goes into program receiving sort of image. And I've noticed that when you're using this software, some you might have to try and send it, even the, the programming, that when you first connect a couple of times, two, three times. Once it's connected the fir first time, then it, just, it works every time then. It's quite advanced software, it's got zones. And look at that booting up there, you saw that uh, with the new image that we saw at the beginning. Of course, you decide what image you're gonna use. And then I'll say, and then when it comes to, if you look here, memory channels, I'm gonna just go s cancel that. We've got zones, okay? If you double click zones, you can add new zones here. Within the zones, uh, these channels have been created by M6LSJ. And so I've just been going through his code plug because he does put a lot of work into this. And I just started to add some more repeaters and uh, you've got one there. I was going to add a few more and I've got my own favorite channels there. It does, this radio does actually have GPS and, um, let's go to settings, and APRS. I haven't worked out the best APRS settings that will actually work. If you look at the bottom here where it says APRS, um, it's blank now because I've been reading and writing and I ended up clearing everything. But you can see that there are settings there for APRS and I've watched a video of someone who got it working and 
I've been um, sending messages, seeing if I can get it working. I know how to turn it on. That's not hard at all. Um, you just turn it on. Look, you've got, uh, where is it? More settings. And, and then you can enable the Bluetooth. I know how to turn it on, but nothing happens. GPS does work. APRS enable. And if I go send that to the radio, write data to radio, start. And we can create the 144800. APRS generator. It starts to send out packets, but they're not the packets that my other radios are recognizing. So having fun. It's quite an advanced set. It's about £40. There's a few models that are very similar to it, but they're not the same as it. They're running different hardware and different firmware. They don't have a Bluetooth and GPS and APRS. Let's call it a module. It might be firmware. They don't have the, you know, what's needed to make that work. You'll see now in a minute, it will start transmitting. So if I quickly go to my memory channels over here, uh, cancel that and we've got memory channels. I'll just make sure da -da, in my M0FXB that I've got one that's 144.800. I know it's 900 in the UK and I'll put it on the low power for now. And click this arrow to the right, and we're going to call it APRS. But the crucial thing, yeah, APRS, CTCSS off, squelch off, all that kind of stuff. Uh, hopefully, that's that channel's created. But if you go to the APRS settings, I'll put in there M0FXB SSD. Let's just choose five. And this is the bit that I'm having to work out here. The self, it says self, that I'm guessing that's me, FXB, and again we'll put five. Uh, it's the target, so we go wide, uh, one dash wide. It only lets you put in enough, so I'm just gonna put in wide one, like so, target. You know, I literally don't know uh, what I should put there. And I am saving as I go along, and then I'm going to go right to the, right to radio. And I'll unplug. Just end the video by unplugging the the programming cable, so you can see it trans trying to transmit to create memory channel. Sorry, to go to memory channels, you just press the orange button. To look at your GPS, hold down the red button. To scan search, you push the green one there. And then you've got your up and down arrows A and B. Uh, it does have a broadcast radio as well. So we've turned that on and we're just going to go memory. And yes, it works on air band. Memory channel. They are zone one, but we don't, do we want zone one? I can't remember if I put that in there. Let me have a look at my programming software. Now I want zone M0FXB, which is zone. <laughs> Uh, I think now one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So we go menu, menu. See it transmitting then on PMR. Sorry, PMR. Okay, we've got it on the APRS frequency now. See here, you've got your little logos showing up. Bluetooth and GPS. Let's hold down the red button. Yeah, we've not got a GPS lock yet. It's not been on for long enough to get a lock. But that's how you do it. You press press the red button. So learning as we go, but at least you've got your boot image. Bye for now. Please hit that. If I, you know, if my videos are helping you, making you interested, making you buy more radios, uh, having more fun, if it, if it saves you hours and hours of time programming your radios, learning how to use all your radios, please, uh, please subscribe. Please hit that subscribe. And buy me a coffee, why not? 7-3.